All right, well, it is time to see what's clicking in Cleveland from another one of our three news family members who is also working on her very last day from home. You ready to come back, Stephanie Haney? Oh my gosh, January, I will tell you what, it's been a nice run here at Studio <laughs> Stephanie. I know we're all going to miss hearing Winston snoring in the background. That's my puggle in case you haven't caught that from time to time, but I'm excited to get back in there. I'm excited to hopefully meet you. Yes, I, haven't got to I see can't you wait. We yet. have not met each other yet, but I feel like I already know you. <laughs> Me too, me too. And I want to say happy Memorial Day to you, January, and happy Memorial Day to everyone at home. What we have for you today are new details about the new statue that's going up to honor the tribe legend Rocky Colavito. That's happening in Little Italy. What we know is the groundbreaking is scheduled for tomorrow. That's to honor the four-time All-Star who slugged 190 home runs in his career, playing for Cleveland from 1955 to 59, and again from 1965 to 67. Now, the statue will be unveiled at the East of Assumption Festival, another thing coming back this year with Colavito there on August 10th. Our 3 News contributor Doug Tratner brings us the best patios in Cleveland this week with our Save Our Sauce feature. Now this first one combines two of my favorite things, a roof door top lounge and an outdoor patio. It's Garden City and it sits above Kindred Spirit Restaurant in the Van Aken District. Now you can get small plates from downstairs paired with creative cocktails. Back to Little Italy, La Dolce Vita has a great patio with pasta platters on your table and lush vines and flowers all around you. And in Detroit, Detroit Shoreway, the management at Lux turned a parking lot into one of the prettiest patios in town. Visit WKYC.com slash Save Our Sauce for more incredible patios in Cleveland. And with Memorial Day marking the unofficial start of summer here in Northeast Ohio, we've got to take a peek at Laura DeMarco's must-do summer fun guide. On June 19th, you can take in downtown Cleveland's first annual Freedom Fest. That's to honor the last black people who were freed from slavery in Texas in 1865. Check out Yay Saturdays in University Circle with kid-friendly and free fun every Saturday from June 12th through July 12th. And outdoor music festivals are back with Wonderstruck July 24th and 25th at Lakeland Community College. Those headliners include Walk the Moon, Portugal the Man, and Third Eye Blind January. That's an incredible lineup and a lot to look forward to. What about you for this summer? Big <laughs> I, summer plans here I in Northeast Ohio? I cannot wait. I already have tickets to Van Gogh. I already am going to a couple of festivals, so I am ready to roll. Boy, you just listed a lot of stuff going on. There's No one can say there's nothing to do in Cleveland this summer. That is for sure. I will tell you that. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Stephanie.